Hello there and welcome to this Plane Maker tutorial. You probably came across this video because you were looking for something relating to airplanes or simulators on YouTube. I'll give you a brief introduction to X-Plane before I get started. X-Plane has a very realistic flight model and in fact you can make your own airplanes. So even if you only have the demo you can build unlimited amounts of airplanes and I'm not going to download it right now. But you don't have to build airplanes if you don't want to. The, there's a xplane.org a user community and they have about 2,533 planes for you to choose from. New resources get added daily and if you're looking for something a little more high quality than what people are offering here for free, the ones that are for sale at the org store are generally very high detailed and that just takes a lot of time to make and it takes expertise as well. So 10, 15, 20 bucks for one of these planes is actually quite worthwhile. There's a highly detailed plane on the org store called the Verticopter by Garrow Aircraft. And this is a plane that I actually made using a combination of Plane Maker and Blender. Blender parts can be imported into Plane Maker later, but that's something for more advanced tutorials. You can do what I'm going to do here in this series of tutorials completely free. You don't have to pay any money to do what I'm going to show you here. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to open up Plane Maker. That is the application that comes with X Plane and it doesn't look like much. The interface is actually a simple 3D graphics program that allows you to create your own airplane. Now let me open up a plane. I might as well open up my verticopter. So let's go to VTOL double scale version, the seven seater. And just to show that a lot of detail and a lot of uh, amazing uh, even glare effects and stuff like that is being rendered in real time in Plane Maker. And if I hit the space bar I can see that this is using an external uh, wireframe texture in order to model this plane. Now that's not what I'm going to cover in these first couple of tutorials because that's higher end stuff. But I do want to get to that in later tutorials. But if we go now to one of X-Plane's own planes that comes with a download, uh, for example we go to Heavy Metal and we open up the Boeing 777, we see that Plane Maker doesn't do such a bad job either at rendering planes just by using its own internal parts. You see the difference here when I hit spacebar to show the wireframe I don't see any coloring of the wireframe so that tells me that I don't have any 3D parts loaded up and you can mix and match as you please and you can even hide the parts that you don't want X-Plane to show when they're coming from Plane Maker. So you have a lot of choices there so I'm hoping that this will inspire one or the other person out there to actually go for it and reach for their dreams as they consider uh, this way of, of pursuing their passion for airplanes. Now before diving into a completely blank project let me just show you that you can actually go ahead and edit some of these projects that are already in existence in Plane Maker. All you do is you go in into the standards menu here and you start exploring around. So say I want to give this airplane bigger wings. So here I can always see which part is selected by the fact that it's highlighted in black I want to select the outermost wings and give them a little bit more length. So see what happens here and you can do some pretty insane stuff with existing planes. You can even alter the sweep and give it less swept wing and wow you've got a pretty neat looking uh, interesting looking plane right there already. So you can take that into the sim, you can save it. I would save it in a different directory. I would make a copy of this plane before even uh, trying these things. But then I would go into the sim and you could test this stuff. You can uh, change the uh, the strength of the engines, you can put some insane number up here and try to get this plane to fly supersonic or whatever you want. There's a lot of experimentation that you can do without ever having to build your own original plane. The things that you need before you get started is you need to decide on a plane. I decided on a Brazilian made plane. You can find it on embraer.com and it's their regional jet that I'm interested in modeling. Let's see what they've got here. ERJ-145 family. I'm going to start out with the ERJ-140 right here. And what I'm interested in is the spec sheet. The specifications give me the length, height, the width, all the data that I need to punch in to the simulator. And you could pretty much find this for any airplane you're, you're thinking of building an X-plane. So here we have the spec sheet and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adapt this image here to be able to be imported into Plane Maker so that I can actually model the airplane according to these things. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this with Photoshop, 
but you can also do it with a program like GIMP, which is free. It's a Photoshop replacement, although you'll probably have to spend some time learning that software if you're, if you're not familiar with it. So what I'm going to start by is I'm going to make a selection here. I have side view, top view, and front view. And I want to get these into a common plane so that when I rotate the airplane around these pictures, uh, their center remains centered and I don't have to realign every time I move the plane around a little bit. So I'm going to hit, go ahead and copy this. I'm going to create a new image. And I'm going to go with the 1280 1024. And let's see where that takes me. I'm going to take all three of these pictures. Got that. Okay, so now I've got the side view and top view. And now the front view. Grab this, this guy here. What needs to happen is the front view needs to be exactly in the middle of the page. So I'm going to crop it down to the exact size that I need it there. And I go crop. All right. Now I have my three views and I need to line them up, but first I'm going to save this. You know what, before I save it, I have to actually go in and show you how to make the directory for planes because you have to actually do it right, otherwise you run into a lot of problems later on. Okay, so I have my X plane, here I have a shortcut to it. So instead of putting it in the aircraft folder, I want to actually put it into this directory because that will save me a lot of navigation once I'm starting to build a plane. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder here, right in the top directory of the X-Plane folder, and I'm going to call it ERJ140. I should do it without spaces because that's um, more likely to be web safe. And this is where I'm going to go in and I'm going to start accumulating the pieces that I need to make this plane happen. So I'm going to save this Photoshop file as layers, ERJ3 view layers. This See, this uh, front view is actually not in the middle, so I have to move it pretty much. I can tell by that 50% line whether I'm in the middle or not. So let me zoom in and move it exactly, the center of the windshield, exactly to the 50% mark. There, that'll do it. I, I can see here that the top of the body lines up with the top of that body. Now I have to align the top view and the side view. That looks like it's pretty much exactly lined up. So now I have these three views that I'm going to use in Plane Maker to create this plane. So let me export them one after another. Save for web and devices. Now I want it to be a PNG file with transparency. So I go ahead and save ERJ140 side view. Okay, now I'm going to deactivate this layer and go for the top view, top, and the last one is front. In the following three tutorials, I'll take you step by step to get to this point. I hope to see you around.